So is there a difference between the TSI badge that Volkswagen use and the TFSI badge that the Audi group use? So we know that manufacturers tend to share engines across different brands. And the Volkswagen group is no exception with Seat, Skoda, Volkswagen and Audi all sharing the same engines, but the badging has led to confusion. So this video, we're just going to discuss what the badge actually means and what the differences are. So essentially, these engines are exactly the same. The TSI stands for Turbo Stratified Injection, and that relates to the direct injection setup where the fuel is injected directly into the cylinders. And Audi use exactly the same engine, the same mechanism, but they brand it the Turbo Fuel Stratified Injection or the TFSI. I guess Audi's thinking is that because it's got more letters, it looks more impressive and it's more important. But essentially, the engines are exactly the same. And even within an engine range, you've got a set of different power bands. So, for example, a 1.4 TSI or TFSI may come as a 125 horsepower, 140 horsepower and 150 horsepower. And it'd be wrong to assume that the lower powered version is more economical. The reality is that the higher powered version is generally the most economical. It makes more efficient use of the fuel that's going into the engine. There's obviously some caveats to that, and it depends how we drive the car. But in the main, if you're looking for fuel economy, don't just assume that the lowest power engine is going to give you the best fuel economy. They're often just there for the lower insurance groups. Lower power means worse acceleration and lower performance. So the insurance companies can rate the car accordingly and offer you a lower premium. The main difference between the different power bands is essentially within the computer, the way the computer is set up. Although there are a few subtle differences, so the higher powered variants may often have variable valve timing on the intake and exhaust, whereas a lot of the lower powered variants only have the variable valve timing on the intake side. And sometimes turbochargers are adjusted to provide more flexibility at the higher power figures. But again, that depends on the engine you've got and which brand you're specifically talking about. So I hope this has just cleared up some of the confusion about badges and cleared up also that common misconception that lower power means lower fuel economy because that's not always the case. So thanks for watching. Please boot the like button if you found this video interesting. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you probably haven't looking at the stats, please do so. We'd hate you to miss out on the great content we've got planned. And I've lined this video up for you and this playlist that you should find really interesting. Thanks for watching. See you in this next video.